What is up guys? Hi, my name is Shilpa. In case you don't know me, I'm a 25 year old working professional. I've been working in private banking for about two years now and I'm a software engineer. In this particular video, we'll be discussing what are you supposed to do in the coming three months when it comes to GATE. The very first suggestion I have for you is it would be nice if you come up with your own strategy because everyone has a very different style of studying. Now you might come up with things like you already have been studying really hard, which is really nice and appreciable of course. But, but if you think there is any extra effort or any extra bit of hard work that you could put into this examination, maybe it's time you started doing it. Let, let's discuss this plan in the reverse order. So the last three work, the last three weeks, as we've discussed in the previous video, should be dedicated completely towards revising all that you've studied, looking back at questions that you've solved. As I told you, you should be having your syllabus sheet with us at all times. And then you can go ahead and check all the sections. Now, when it comes to revision, it's crucial that you understand that all the subjects have different topics. And the topics in the syllabus sheet, when you look at a topic, you would have written the subtopics. If not, you can do it even now. It, it, it won't take you very long. And when you look at the subtopics, you should be able to understand, okay, this is the content. This is all the matter inside it. And these are the kind of questions that could be asked from this particular topic. The last three weeks would be completely for the revision part. And we can discuss about it in the coming videos, maybe. If you're left with six weeks in hand, let's just say you're in the mid of December, you still have a lot of time. So what you can do is you can start solving maths questions. You can start learning it. It's not very difficult when it comes to engineering mathematics. It's pretty easy. I'm sure I'm sure most of you would have solved those kind of questions already. There is limits, differentiation, integration, maximum, minima and all calculus kind of questions, which are which would be fairly easy to solve. So if you'll just look at the concept, you'll just go through some of the questions. Now learning maths. I, uh, now when it comes to preparing maths, and I'm not talking about discrete mathematics. I would recommend an active preparation. Now, oh, the difference between active and passive preparation is with active preparation, what you do is you solve the questions first. That is how you prepare engineering mathematics. When it comes to discrete mathematics, you will have to study. And then there are groups, rings, graphs. And uh, these all are topics I would really not uh, advise you to skip because you will be getting questions, especially from groups and graphs and most of the topics from discrete structures, you will have questions in exam. You can keep four if you think your preparation pace is slow. If not, then three weeks is, is a good enough time because I think engineering mathematics takes about five days, four to five days. Even if you want to solve all the questions you have from previous years, I think four to five days is way more than enough. And then the remaining nine, 10 days could be given to discrete structures and you'll be able to complete it. Uh, now, this is subject to if you have opted for any coaching material. If you haven't, then I'd recommend you to take maybe four weeks because you'll have to hunt for the material yourself. And that could, you know, increase your learning domain, of course. But then you will take just slightly a bit more. Starting today, you have approximately eight weeks until you start maths start to prepare very rigorously any part of syllabus that is yet to be finished just finish it off this is the time if you think there are topics that are taking you longer you can skip them for now but prepare other topics don't leave any of the topics because uh, because eight weeks is a decent time that's that's almost two months so if you have studied, let's just say if you have studied four subjects, DBMS, OS, algorithms and data structures, then TOC compiler should take you about 10 days and then computer networks another 10 days, which is 20. CO, I don't know how long could it take, but then digital logic should take you four to five days. And if you think you haven't done even that much, then also it's okay. Try to finish as many subjects as possible because here's the thing. you don't need to get 100 marks in the exam, right? Even the toppers won't get it. All you need from this exam is either to get into a good college or to get into PSUs. So if you're looking forward to marks somewhere close to 65 to 70, it's okay. Just whatever part you've prepared, prepare it really well. Be very confident when you're solving questions and do not skip solving questions, okay? I mean, 
however you are studying along with your studies keep solving questions because solving questions is the kind of active preparation that you should be doing other than this i would very importantly like to highlight the fact that if you haven't studied anything till now okay if you are like at ground zero then starting today study dbms study os study algorithms and study data structures complete these four subjects and then in the second last three weeks complete maths and then in the final three weeks do the revision of these many subjects at least do that much before you go write the exam because these subjects have a good weightage chances are chances are if you prepare these subjects very well and if you are good with aptitude you will have you will be able to write the exam nicely i cannot say that you will be able to land among the top 10 or top 100 maybe but then even if you want to take any risk even if you haven't prepared anything till today okay just just listen to me you still intend to write the exam complete operating systems dbms data structures algorithms and then in the final second last three weeks complete mathematics and then do the revision now when i say revision keep solving question papers previous year question papers the subjects which you haven't covered just look for the questions from previous years try solving them and look for the solutions at least that much you can do now this is for people who haven't done anything yet for people who have completed 50% 60% of the syllabus guys great job if you've done it you know by now if you've finished that much so, times are not going really well for so many people around the world right and i understand this most people have to struggle when it comes to work from home others have to struggle when it comes to placement so for now just stay patient don't worry too much all you have to worry about right now at this point is your exam study really well really really well i mean at the day on the day of your exam you shouldn't feel that you know you could have done a bit better so starting today put all your efforts leave everything else aside i reactivated my facebook account i did not use instagram i uninstalled whatsapp I lived religiously studying for last two months so facebook can wait instagram can wait anything else other than your studies can wait understand your priorities you are grown up enough to know what is good for you and then start working hard okay and i'm sure if you work hard you'll be great during the exam and you'll clear the exam with good ranks like good ranks the ranks that would land you in finest colleges maybe you'll end up learning something that could get you good jobs in nice companies and maybe psus just prepare well that's all i have to say if you think this video has helped you give me a thumbs up if you have any questions related to gate do feel free to drop them in the comment box below please subscribe to my channel if you still haven't share the video with your friends if you think it can help them and thank you for watching until i see you again peace bye